carefully. There's not much time. Take this. Guard it with your life. You need to leave. And search for someone. The legendary ace. Mom, don't go! Hina. Find them. The legendary ace. You're new here. Where'd you come from? From Fianni. Wow, that's pretty far. On foot? I love walking, so I don't mind it all that much. Have you been traveling all over Alsia? Yes, I have. I'm looking for a very special person. Oh, really? Like a boyfriend? I need to find the legendary ace. That sounds familiar. Uh, you know, like from those tales. <gasps> they run faster than a horse, fly like a hawk. Everybody heard about them when we were kids. But that's obviously just a silly children's story. Right? I mean, no one can fly. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Licht. Yeah, I know this is kind of a weird question. After all, we just met. <laughs> but I, I need it. I need it bad. Will you give me some money? Why should I give you any money? I haven't eaten in about a week, and I'm practically knocking on death's door. What happened to me is a real tearjerker, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. You see, I was sent on a shopping errand, but unfortunately one thing led to another, you know, and I spent all the money on adult goods. No, no, I mean I lost it in an accident. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it wasn't a moment of weakness. I didn't just indulge some silly temptation or anything. Really, it's the tragedy of man. But if I don't give that money back, I won't be given any food. I'm just so hungry, and I'm dying from thirst. Oh, ah. I can't hold that much longer. I need some soft, sweet, delicious. No, 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 Joe, just me. Wait, wait, wait. What do I want more? Food, flesh, or cash? It's so hard to know. They all have their own very convincing arguments. <laughs> money, matrimony, matrimony, a feast for the soul and skin. I send you out on a simple shopping trip, and this is what you do instead? My apologies. Are you okay? Um, I guess. My name's Nana. I run that traveling tavern card over there. As a token of apology, how about a nice meal? If you're offering, can I have some too? Pay me. Hmm. I did give you money earlier. Yeah, but you haven't fed me in a week. I'm starving. Ever heard the proverb, who does not work, neither shall he eat? Please, Nana, I'm begging you. Feed <laughs> me! Excuse me, but if he's starving, I'll pay for his food. No, you shouldn't. Trust me, you don't want to make the mistake of spoiling it. Uh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> uh, I don't believe you told me your name. Oh, sorry about that. It's Hina. Really? I think you're the first Hina I've met. How do you spell it? Um, uh, well... Kanji. You don't see that often. <laughs> around here. Where are you from? Well, right here on the map. I'd say that's pretty deep in the mountains. I mean, I hadn't even heard of any villages or anything near there. Because it was just my mother and I living there by ourselves. Until one day she disappeared. She was just dragged into the ground all of a sudden. Oh, you poor thing. I'm afraid she must have been sent to the Abyss. The Abyss? What's that? Do you really not know what that is? Uh, okay. Look at all the people around us. They're great! Please, try one! 
You see how everyone has a different number written somewhere on them? Those numbers are what control our world. What do you mean it's controlled by them? I'll explain it best I can. From the moment we're born, every single person is obligated to count something specific. Yeah? Like what? Well, like this. I've got my very own number right here, see? This marks how many times a customer told me my food is good. When they say it's bad, my count goes down. You should have your own number somewhere on your body, don't you? You mean this, right? <laughs> oh, can I see? I don't think so! Uh, come on! I just need a little peek! No, please, stop! Uh, 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 What's wrong with you? Oh yeah, like I was saying, the count can go down. <sighs> you want your count to keep going up and up, but if things don't go your way and it falls down to zero, if that happens, you'll be sent to the abyss. That's not good, is it? It's not, and that's the reason everybody tries their best to get those numbers to go up, or at least attempts to avoid them going down. There are rumors about what really happens. Some say you die in the ground. And others say it's even worse than death. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. No, I'm fine, really. <sighs> There's one more thing, another rule about what the number means. And that's you can't disobey any order from a person who has a higher count than you. Can't disobey them? Yes, so it's very important you remember that. What it boils down to is a difference in count reflects a difference in status. Ultimately, it's just another way those numbers have control over our lives. Mm. Oh, I never asked what yours meant. Uh, what is it you're counting? Well, uh, mine is... It's the distance I've walked. Uh, uh, That's what my mom told me anyway. Wait, are you sure about that? Because walking converts to one for every hundred kilometers. And if you're at 441, you've walked almost 45,000 kilometers? For the last five years, I've been searching for someone important, so I've walked a lot. That's so incredibly far. I can't imagine how hard that must have been on you. I don't really think of it that way. My mother told me to find them without fail. Those were her last words, so it's just what I have to do. Every time this number goes up, I can feel her with me even more. Like she's cheering me on and telling me she knows I'll find them. To think there's some amazing person out there who's that important to you. Who are they, anyway? I'm dying to know at this point. She said they're the legendary ace. <sighs> the legendary ace? That's right, an honorable and courageous hero who wears a shining white star. Have you never heard of them before? Yeah, I have, but the legendary part means it's just a fairy tale that people tell. But it's true! While I was traveling the countryside, I heard that the legendary ace was in this town! That's the entire reason why I came I've here! I've never heard that rumor. <sighs> I've been in this town for quite a while now, and no one has ever mentioned them to me. Really? Hear that, Licht? Hina's talking about some legendary ace. <laughs> know anyone like that here? <clears throat> oh, I see. Thank you for everything. Uh Hang on a second, Hina. I wasn't trying to be cruel. Are you looking for me, young lady? <gasps> You've got a white star! Yes, I do. A courageous hero from the Waste War who's adorned with a shining white star. A.K.A. the legendary Ace. And I'm indeed here in the flesh. Huh. Is that right? <laughs> really? So long. Uh, what's wrong, Hina? I'm sorry. I've just dreamed of this day. Searching, looking everywhere. <laughs> I feel so very honored, truly. Now I'm a sergeant major in the military. Come to the guardhouse. I would love to hear your story. Oh, uh, sure. Hey, wait, Hina! Now, you wouldn't defy the military. <laughs> Please, excuse us. Thank you guys so much!
much for your help. I really do appreciate it. Be careful. I really hope Hina will be okay. There are rumors floating around about men who pose as aces and do terrible things to young ladies. If you knew about that, then... <laughs> <sighs> the word of an ace in this town has spread quickly. I certainly didn't expect it. <sighs> it's stupid to believe, though. Are you sure? Because as things are now... Oh! <laughs> what is this stupid-looking old thing anyway? <laughs> Get back here, you little brats! That's mine! Get your grubby little hands off of me now! Hey, licked! <laughs> um, so... <laughs> You're beautiful, really. <laughs> Unbelievably cute. <laughs> anyway, my mother's last words to me were to find you, and I've looked for five years. I don't believe I caught your name. Huh? It's Hina. I see. You're so cute. Oh, I forgot! For you. Uh, uh, ballot! Uh, what's wrong? Hina. Uh, yes? Are you a ballot holder? To know? What does that mean? I see. I guess that's a no. Well then. You should hand it over. But I can't do that. My mom gave it to me. <laughs> Please don't make this difficult. What's happening? Stop! I'm ordering you! Really? It says right there your count is only 320. What exactly is your point? Well, my count is 441. You can't disobey a person with a higher count than you. Those are the rules! It's true. I'll give you that. <laughs> well then, you should bet your stars. Huh? Wait, what? What's that mean? As I said, with the privilege given to us military men, I formally challenge you to a star stake. But I have no clue what you're talking about! I guess a commoner would be ignorant. But nevertheless, if you choose not to bet your stars, I'm not obligated to obey you. Now what are you going to do? The decision is yours to make. Well, I suppose if that's what I have to do to make you stop this... <laughs> you have yourself a deal. <laughs> We're forbidden to disobey those who possess a higher count. But there is a way around that rule. To claim victory in a star state. It's a battle in which one can place their own count on the line. <laughs> Some commoners, such as yourself, might have heard the term thrown about before. But the fact remains, the star stake is the ultimate privilege given exclusively to those in the military. And it is a unique pleasure. <laughs> A duel only granted to us chosen ones. Please, let go! <laughs> the look on your face is quite pleasurable as well. Please stop! I'm begging you! Stop, you say? With those words, you are acknowledging your loss to me. Understand? What that means... is your number belongs to me. Let's take a look and watch your count disappear. The winner can take the loser's count, you see. 
and then add it to their own. That is the entire purpose of the star stake. <laughs> no, stop it! Let's find out. Exactly how low did that take your number? <laughs> oh my! It appears you're down to only one! <laughs> Tell me, what do you think about handing over that ballot now? Now do what I say, and give it up like a good girl. Or would you prefer to go through all that over again? You're one tiny number away from the abyss, you know. How could you? Huh? Why are you doing such a terrible thing? The legendary ace is supposed to be a hero! <laughs> Do you actually even know what a legendary ace is, you naive little girl? Yes, I do! The legendary ace is a brave hero from the Waste War! They wear a shining white star and carry on them the number of foes they've slain. Their abilities are no less than superhuman. It seems you do know. And I stand before you now as the legendary ace. <laughs> Behold! <laughs> You foolish girl! What? I mean, come on. Don't you know how long ago the Waste War was? You need to learn something about history because it was over 300 years ago. <gasps> Three centuries ago! Suppose all of the legends about them were true, there's still no way in hell they would be alive today. If they even existed in the first place, by this time they'd be nothing but bones in the ground! No way. That's not true. <laughs> it was all just one big waste of time. You've been blindly following this stupid fantasy of looking for someone who died 300 years ago because Mommy told you to. You're both idiots! She wasn't lying. All those years, all of that distance, your mom fed you a bunch of nonsense and you believed her like a fool. Now, hand over that ballot. I'll do another star stake if that's what it takes. What'll it be? Don't make me wait! She'll bet it. Licked, it's you. So you're deciding for her, that right? Indeed, and I shall fight in the Star Stake on her behalf. How can you do that with your count? It's negative 999! <laughs> That's the lowest I've ever seen! A ridiculous number like that and you're challenging me? It was foolish, but now... I believe I should take this as a personal insult. I'll send you to the abyss for that! Are you okay? Licked! <laughs> What's the matter? Are you too feeble to put up a fight? <laughs> You're nothing but human scum! Something strange here. The guy's at negative 999. That's not even possible. Sergeant Major David, something's not right. What should I care? But his count, it's way in the negative. <laughs> That's right, because he's the lowest of the low! But sir, listen, if his count is that far below zero, then why hasn't he been sent to the abyss yet? <laughs> It must be because the negative 999 is being cancelled out somehow! There's only one way for that to happen. This guy... He's a ballot holder! Thanks. I needed a haircut. Wait, who are you? What is going on? Listen, Hino. I'm gonna kill you! You should stop looking for aces. You'll be happier. They're not heroes. No. What they are, are murderers. You're better off giving up your search. Go live an ordinary life. That's my advice for you. You bastard! I asked you a question, so tell me who you are! Hina, those five years you spent faithfully following your mother's last wishes, the 40,000 plus kilometers on your feet should never be mocked. And you, if 
Do you know what's good for you? Give back the Count you stole from her. It can't be. He's not just some kind of ordinary ballot holder. Look! You see that star? They wear a shining white star. And they carry on them the number of foes they've slain. Their abilities are no less than superhuman. The legendary Ace! It's lit. We're in for a panties festival next time. Panties, panties, panties. Do you really love panties that much? Well, I'd never say no to a peek at yours. <laughs> next episode, I hate you.